what is local file system and what is HDFS exactly if you can see this one let me say that this is what name node these are all data nodes DN means data node task trackers TT means task tracker okay so right now I'm having 10 systems in my cluster 3 and so on up to 9 let's say this is what 10th system okay right now I have 10 systems in my cluster basically as we have discussed in Hadoop architecture data node will store actual data name node will create metadata for all your blocks which you are keeping in different different data nodes okay so this name node will create metadata here this name node will create metadata here and data nodes will store you know actual data if you can see this one this data node all these you know file systems are uh, Linux based operating systems we are generally installing Linux based operating systems for all these systems either CentOS or Ubuntu or Red Hat Linux or something that so this data nodes this data node is having its own hard disk this data node is also having its own hard disk this is also having its own hard disk this is also having its own hard disk as these are all having their own hard disks they can store their data in their local file system itself they can store their data in their local file system itself generally what is a file system file system means you know it's a way of storing your files and directories it's a way of storing your files and directories generally file system will be arranged because of booting our hard disk with some OS okay either it may be windows operating system either it may be linux based operating system or it may be what any some other unix based operating system because of giving OS only our uh, you know our file system will be arranged with some files and directories means what our we can store uh, some files and directories in our file system and basically where all those files and directories will be stored in our hard disk only simply to say if you wanted to store your data into your hard disk we need to have some operating system support that operating system will give some file system support that file system will give you some support for storing your files and directories simply to say just so that this data nodes hard disk is like 250 GB of hard disk so this 250 GB of hard disk can store files and directories because of file system so whatever the data we are storing in its file system that for those files and directories can be called as local file system files and directories simply to say this data nodes file systems data can be accessible only for that local data node only but not for other data nodes this data nodes file systems files and directories can be accessed only for that local data node only but not for other data nodes so as these are all files and directories can be accessed for this local data node only okay not for other data nodes so we can say that it is having local file system local file system okay we can say that it is local file system next suppose <coughs> right now I am having 200 MB of data I wanted to store I am having 200 MB of data in this data node right now I'm having 200 MB of data in this data node now I wanted to keep this data into cluster means what HDFS so if I wanted to keep this data into cluster we are writing some command just so that we are writing some command because of writing that command your file is going to be split into number of data nodes generally what is our minimum HDFS block size HDFS block size is what 64 MB or 128 MB by default it is what 64 MB so as its block size is 64 MB now this 200 MB of file is going to be split into number of data nodes number of data nodes each data node will store 64 MB 64 MB some 64 MB and what 8 MB just say that this file is going to be split into four input splits so consider that a dot txt b dot txt c dot txt and d dot txt files four files are there this 200 mb of file is going to be split into four 64 mb blocks this is 64 mb 64 mb 64 mb and what 8 mb 8 mb okay 8 mb so one 64 mb block gets stored in this another 64 mb block gets stored in this 
so some d dot txt file gets stored in this and some c dot txt file gets stored in this okay now this data node wanted to check once after keeping the 200 mb of file into cluster your 200 mb of file is going to be split into number of other systems into number of blocks so once after keeping all your blocks into different different data nodes okay as all these name nodes i mean as all these data nodes are sending some heartbeat and as they are sending some block report as a 10th heartbeat to this name node this name node will create metadata first suppose this name node is creating some metadata for this file just say that my file name is file.txt and its size is 200 mb so 200 mb of file is having four splits so a.txt b.txt c.txt file as well as d.txt file so four files are there for these four files it is creating metadata something like you know system number 2 system number 3 system number 10 sorry system number 10 system number 1 okay so likewise your metadata will be created because of sending blog report as a 10th heartbeat to this name node fine now now this data node wanted to check where all these files get stored in different different data nodes if at all if this data node wanted to check this data node should contact with this name node this get data node should contact with this name node and he has to see he has to display this metadata so by seeing this metadata this data node can understand that okay some of my input splits get stored in data node i mean in system number two system number three and system number ten okay some of my data nodes get stored in what system number two system number three and system number ten so by knowing that this data node can access directly this data nodes and he can see this a.txt b.txt and c.txt files okay this is what basic thing so this one can be called as you know local file system but this name node can share its metadata to any of your local data nodes as well as any of other clients okay so generally where this metadata will be stored in its local hard disk hard disk okay this name nodes local hard disk so where we are going to store this data generally the here as we are keeping all our files and directories only so who is going to take care of storing your files and directories file system so name node is also having its own hard disk with its own file system its file system data is going to be distributed for number of local data nodes so that we are calling this one as distributed file system okay as name node is going to distribute its file systems metadata to all your local data nodes as well as you know all your clients we can say that this name nodes file system as distributed file system this name nodes file system as what distributed file system what distributed file system it is hadoop distributed file system it is clear so all these data nodes are local file systems but this name node is what hadoop distributed file system because this name node is having uh, some, some facility that it can distribute all its metadata to any of your local data nodes as well as any of your clients so that we can call it as distributed file system what distributed file system it is hadoop distributed file system simply to say your name node is what hadoop distributed file system because of that only what we are saying is if name node gets failed your entire hdfs okay is inaccessible your entire hdfs is inaccessible simply to say okay if your name node gets failed your entire hdfs gets failed okay simply to say it is what inaccessible nothing will be happening okay so this is what difference between hadoop distributed file system and what local file system now we will start working with this local file system commands now we will start working with this local file system com commands and then we will see how to work with this hdfs commands how to work with this local file systems files and directories as well as how to work with this name nodes files and directories from this data nodes that we will see one by one okay this is about hadoop distributed file system this is about what local file systems thank you